Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Edwards, my apologies for being late. Uh, the Senate Finance Committee that uh, uh, Senator Warner serves on is keeping uh, everybody busy, and I, I apologize for my tardiness. Congratulations and uh, welcome to the committee. In my view, reports from inspectors general should be public, and at the very least, classified reports should be reviewed for possible declassification and public release. That has not been done enough, and intelligence community inspector generals can help to change this. For example, the Inspector General for the NSA has made great strides in releasing their reports. So let's start with the NRO IG semi-annual reports, a few of which were released to the public in 2017 and 2018. If you are confirmed, will you commit to the timely public release of all semi-annual reports? Uh, Senator, yes. Um, did you say yes? I, I, Senator, I, I did. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> I'll quit while I'm ahead. Yeah. However, uh, as you know, NRO is still a national security agency, and um, IG still have the obligation to, to follow the law. Um, and if confirmed, I would strike that balance of ensuring that, again, I work with you know, the, uh, the, uh, the appropriate classification folks to ensure that where possible, I could publish those senior annual reports without offending any of the classification rules to ensure that we are preserving national security. Let me conclude this area with one last question. Will you commit to reviewing all of your reports for possible declassification and public release? Senator, I'd Absolutely. Okay. Now, with respect to whistleblowers, this is an area that our committee spent a lot of time on and we feel uh, very strongly about. Now, Congress recently passed legislation protecting IC contractors who make whistleblower disclosures to their supervisors. NRO has a large contractor workforce. Tell me a little bit about how you're going to go about making sure that those contractors are protected from reprisals, because that is always the issue. You know, you can write down, and Senator Warner has been very interested, and I have, and Senator King, we've been very interested in whistleblowers. So we write down the appropriate words and, and give as much directive as we can to protecting uh, whistleblowers, but at the same time, Real people take these positions, and I'd be interested in hearing from you how you're going to make sure that the contractors are protected from reprisals. So, Senator, I think the first thing is making sure that, again, we are doing appropriate outreach to the diverse workforce at NRO to include contractors so they fully understand what their rights are um, so that when they submit information that is of concern, um, they feel as though they're going to be protected and that their identity is going to be protected. Um, when they come to my office, if confirmed, uh, I, will assure, re, I will be assured that my staff treats them with respect and make sure that, again, whatever they're bringing us, we're taking it seriously. Um, we are protecting our identity and confidentiality, and we are acting appropriately to uh, look into whatever they're bringing to us. I would only add, because I think that's a thoughtful answer, particularly you're going to be affirmative in terms of reaching out and the like. The first couple of cases that you're going to be dealing with, I hope you're confirmed, I'm planning to support you, are going to send a very important message to those contractors about how you're going to protect them from reprisals. So I would just urge in the strongest way possible with those first couple of cases, you could be sending a big message. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.